Hey there folks, Jeff Dalton with Holy Smoke Barbecue. Today we're going to get the Kamada Joe fired up for some sweet and spicy hot barbecue wings. Stick around and we'll get this thing fired up. Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite cooking methods for wings. And it's what I call my ring of fire. What we're going to do is we're going to get a good hot bed of coals right in the center of the firebox on the Kamada Joe. And we're going to put the wings all around the edges of that fire. What that's going to do is going to allow these wings to get some good heat to get them cooked. But that's also going to prevent flare ups from happening. I'll show you how I'm going to set up the grill here in just a few minutes. But first let me bring you in and let me show you how we're going to season up these wings. As you can see here we've got some whole chicken wings that we're going to use today. And I personally like doing these a lot better than splitting them up into the party wings where you split them and you've got a drumette and a flat. And the reason I like doing that is because I think you get a lot more juicy wing in the end when you leave them whole. And what I've done to prepare these wings today is I've just got them out of the pack, I dried them off with a paper towel, and I put them on this rack here and stuck them in the refrigerator for a few hours. What that's done is allowed the wing to dry out a little bit which will help us get a more crispy skin in the end. Today I'm going to be seasoning these wings with this Whiskey Bent Blazing Bird Rub. It's a really good rub. It's got a little bit of a balance between heat and some sweet. And I think it's going to go perfect on these wings. First thing I want to do before I put some rub on here is I want to spray these wings with a little bit of cooking spray. That'll help the skin kind of brown up a little bit and it'll help our seasoning stick to the wings. Alright, now that we got the wings sprayed down with a little bit of cooking spray, let's go ahead and season these things. What I like to do is kind of flip them over, season the back side first, and then we'll flip them over and do the other side. I'm going to give these wings a few minutes, let this seasoning kind of set on them while we get the grill fired up. Alright guys, welcome back. You can see we got the firebox, uh, probably about two thirds full of some lump charcoal here in the Kamada Joe. You can see I've got a little bit of old coals there from one of my previous cooks and I've got some fresh coals here. What you want to do is, is to have your fresh coals at the front and kind of have the bigger pieces there so that it doesn't block the airflow. I've got a couple wax starter cubes in here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to get these fired up. And then I'm going to just place a couple pieces of these bigger lump charcoal right on top of that. We're going to give this about 15 minutes to catch up and get real good and hot and then I'll bring you back and I'll show you how we're going to set up the grates. Alright guys, you can see how it's been about 15 minutes and you can really see how these coals have caught up and kind of ashed over a little bit. So what I want to do now is I want to take my ash tool and I'm just going to kind of mix this charcoal up a little bit. And I, what I want to do is I want to mound this up in the middle of the fire box. I want to have a good hot fire right in the very center. We're going to get the divide and conquer system in place and get that rack here and then we're going to drop these grates in and we're going to set them up at the highest level. We're going to shut the lid and then we're going to adjust these vents so that we can get our fire to hold about 375 to 400 degrees. All right, as you can see, we're right at 400 degrees. On the top vent, we got the slider completely closed and the daisy wheel completely open. And the bottom vent, we've got open about an inch and a half to two inches. That should allow us to maintain this 375 to 400 degrees the entire time. All right, let's get our chicken wings on the grill. You see, we got a nice, really hot fire right in the center. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our wings around the outside of the cooking grate. And that's, like I said, what I kind of call my ring of fire. Because um, I do a, a ring around the fire with my chicken wings. And as you can see, this Big Joe, man, it, it's, it's got a lot of square inches of cooking space. We could put several more wings on there. But what we're going to do is we're going to let these cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to come back and we're going to check on them. We're probably going to flip them. I'll bring you back. All right, folks, my timer's went off. It's been 15 minutes. We're still maintaining about 375 degrees. Let's check on these wings. I did forget to mention I did throw a couple cherry chunks on the coals there when I put the wings on. So as you can see, these things are starting to look good. They're starting to brown up just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and flip them all over so we can get some even cooking on both sides. 
still maintaining that ring of fire still gonna go around the hot coals not directly on the coal let's get that lid shut and go about another 15 minutes all right we've been another 15 minutes we're still rocking at about 375 to 400 let's check on these wings again man they're looking really 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 good they're definitely browning up let's go ahead and flip these over one last time man you can just see the juice running out of these things I mean just look at that color on these wings beautiful let's check the internal temperature on a couple of them so we're running about 180 179 on that one so chicken wings are technically done at 165 but I like to take them up a little bit higher than that because you want that bone to come out clean and you want that all that connective tissue to break down they've got plenty of fat plenty of juice in them they'll still be delicious and juicy what I want to do now is go ahead and get our sauce on the grill let it come together For the last few minutes we can go ahead and glaze these wings so what I've got here is I got a cast iron skillet with like a half a stick of butter in it I'm going to pour a half a cup of buffalo wing sauce in here and then I'm going to do about a cup of this meat mitch char bar barbecue sauce this is a really sweet and tangy a little bit spicy barbecue sauce put about a cup of that in there and give that a good stir let that come together while these wings finish up I'll bring you back in just a few minutes all right it's been about five minutes let's check on our sauce oh yeah that's coming on together starting to simmer a little bit I think we're ready to start dunking these wings in it so we're just gonna grab these wings one at a time we're gonna dunk them in our sauce kind of rotate them around get them all sauced up and covered up real good last one here Go ahead and slide that sauce back so it doesn't get too burnt. I'm going to shut the lid down, let these wings glaze for about two or three minutes, and we'll be taking them off and it'll be taste time. All right, let's check these wings, see if they're done. I believe they're done. Man, look how beautiful those wings are. What a beautiful color on them. Let's check the temperature of a couple of them. So 193. This one over here. 189. 192. 193 that's perfect all right I got this platter here with some butcher paper and I'm gonna get these wings up on tell me that ain't a beautiful platter of wings there all right, guys, you can see we got the wings plated up here. I'm ready to give them a try. That's a super easy cook. Took about 45 minutes total time. Ran the grill between 375 and 400 degrees about the entire cook. They cook really fast. They get the nice smoky flavor from the cherry wood. They're gonna be delicious. But before we try these wings, I wanna share with you my verse of the day. You know, we live in a world that's just full of hatred and bitterness. People are so hurtful with what they say and what they do. But you know, we as Christians, we're called to rise above that. And in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2, the Apostle Paul wrote these words. Always be humble and gentle and be patient with each other, making allowances for each other's faults because of your love. And what he's saying here is nobody's perfect. We all have faults. We all have sins. We all have bad days. You never know what another person is going through. So instead of being short and unkind to them, how about giving them a nice smile and an encouraging word? Let's show others the love of Christ through our kind actions and words. All right, I'm ready to give these things a try. Let's go ahead and grab one. Take this thing right here and rip it apart. I think I'm going to try it first without the ranch. Mm-hmm. Man. That was a good chicken wing. Man, those wings are spicy. They're sweet. They're tangy. They're salty, they're savory, get a little bit of smoke flavor. They just hit every note. They are so good. Let's try flat this time. Man, that's a perfect chicken wing. That was so good. I'm about to lick these fingers, get a little cleaned up here. So I hope you've enjoyed your time with us today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this video on these wings. You gotta give these wings a try. And if you do, go ahead and let me know. Give me a comment down below. 
You can tag me on Instagram. You can tag me on Facebook. You can reach for me through email. If you got any questions about the recipe or the verse of the day, feel free to hit me up. I love talking to you guys and getting comments and that kind of thing. I love interacting with you. I'm about to tear down on the rest of these wings here. And just remember, go spend some quality time with your friends and family over some good food. And whatever you do, make sure you glorify God in it. Take care. I'll grab one of these wings. See y'all.